Hello, good evening, and welcome to Kuno EXP. Welcome to uh, Wednesday's night live stream. What we're doing tonight is we're going to do some undercarriage bits for the aircraft and some other bits and pieces. So we, since since we spoke to you last on here, we've um, painted the wings. They've had two coats of the grey. And obviously we've done underneath as well. We've given it a coat of paint, as you can see. So um, tonight's exercise will be installing the engine hangers, installing the um, Bombay area where the Bombay are, um, controls are and what have you. So this is what we're going to do tonight. So we might even get around to doing a camo scheme as well, but I'm not sure about that one. So let's get started, shall we? I've got a tin of beer open, folks. You might see me drink that on and off camera. The beer we've got in question is a nice Carlsberg. There you go. Got to have a nice Carlsberg, haven't you? There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. I do apologise. This is real TV, folks. There's no fakery. Right, so, um, first thing we'll do is to remove some of the... We've already released some of these parts from the sprues here, folks. So, uh, so we'll just snip this off here. There we go. And then the opposite part here. There we go, and here, there you go. So now we'll need the crafting knife. So I'll just cut that off a bit like that. I don't know if that's meant to be there now, so... We'll need to look, I think. No, that's not meant to be there. There we go. Is that a little piece ready? <coughs> Oops, I don't think I should have cut that bit there. I don't never mind. There we go. So we are a little bit early, so <clears throat> right, there we go. So that's those two pieces ready. So we'll put those over there. So now we'll just step back to the engine hangers. There we go. There we are. Right, so now we'll just cut uh, a little bit of the uh, access off there. There we go, just like that. And then a little bit off there. There we go, that's that one done. And then cut a bit of this off. Good evening, B. And we'll just cut a bit of that off. There we go. Right. Okay, so what we're doing tonight, just to um, refresh everybody, is the bottom of the aircraft, we're going to install the engine hangers. And they go on. Hang on. Uh, yeah, they go on like that. So one goes there. And one goes there. There we are. So we're going to install those. And then we're going to install underneath the um, um, bomber's observation area. So we've been out today and we've um, did a bit of videoing. Uh, I can't release it just yet because um, we're going to Penhale Army Camp. I'm not saying when we're doing it, but it's soon 
and the drone video is going to be in conjunction with that so uh, it's going to be a good one folks also um i did a motorcycle ride today and that's on youtube but i haven't released it yet and also we did a walk um down through the valleys uh, so i can't release that yet until i've released the um the video of the final installment i know i keep saying that but this is the fight well, will be the final installment of pen hell army camp because i've been told um by two or three people that the site is set for demolition and the last time me, Adam and Darren went there, we missed uh, quite a bit of the internal buildings. So we want to try and get them on, on video so they're documented for history, basically, for historical purposes. As once it's knocked down, <laughs> we've got no hope of doing it, have we? So that's what's happening soon. Right, now engine hanger is done these need the burring taken off so we'll just do that quickly i might be able to release the motorcycle video tomorrow but i'm, I'm not sure at the minute because it might give out some information that we need to keep quiet until we've done the other video if you know what i mean right um I'm drinking beer at the minute, folks. Um, I don't drink much very often, but I do like a drink now and again. And we're drinking the old famous Carlsberg, which is is quite nice, folks. I do enjoy a nice drink sometimes. Oh, oh pardon me. I do apologise. Right. We've got um, in the archive uh, two videos that I did. I haven't released them yet. They're when we went to Madrim Workhouse with uh, Mark and Haley from Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. I haven't released those yet. I might release one of those tonight if I can. Um, so we'll try our best. And B's gone. <laughs> oh well right well let's persevere persevere yeah okay so I uh, need to move the aircraft so I'll just get the aircraft over here out of the way Tonight's live stream might be a bit of a flop, actually, thinking about it, but never mind. Right. Get these ailerons off. Right, there we go. So I'll just drop that there a minute. So we need to get the burring. Mark Urbitz. Mark Urbex. Hello there. How are you? I hope you're good. All right. Let's get the burring off. So we've got, a, um, as I said just briefly, uh, we've got a a video planned for later this week and I can't really reveal when we're going to do it because uh, oh good brilliant um, it's just that uh, we don't want the shit that comes with with that you know because obviously you know um, it's best to play your cards close to your chest when you've got something planned so we're doing that at the moment, but we are going to Penhale Camp um, this week. And uh, that's what I've been doing today, basically. I went over towards Hollywell Bay and flew the drone over the camp area because it's uh, basically a derelict site now. It's not been, it's not active, act, active 
so it's uh, not controlled airspace so uh we we flew the drone over there today and uh yeah i think it was uh all right actually right okay so let's have a look here right i think that's how that goes it certainly looks like it Matthew, hello there. Yeah, um, Mark Herbich, that's what we do, basically. We use Google Maps to our advantage. And uh, I did go out the other night um, because I did find two potential um, old properties. But obviously, Google Earth hasn't been updated for a little while. But uh, the properties that I found are not derelicts, so I can't really use that footage, can I really? So it's like that sometimes, you know, even the bigger YouTubers, they struggle for locations. And, uh, and so do I So at times. Right. OK, so we can start gluing now, folks. So we have slowed down the videos a little bit. It's... Um, I wasn't sleeping very good, folks, you know, and uh, I've had to I've had to slow down basically for my own well-being because I just can't keep I can't keep it up like that, you know. It's crazy. So yeah, we have to, we have um, slowed down. There is going to be a still a fair amount of videos coming. Of course, I'm not stopping, you know just uh need, needed that needed that little bit of a slowdown right so okay so we've got our first bits glued so that's good matthew you have a what i have an old field health house if interested yeah yeah yeah, by all means. Yeah, there was, well, when we was over, because we went to, um, through Par and Porf earlier, we know of a few places there that are derelict, but I've done it. Um, it's the collector's house, and it's a crazy place. Matthew, yes. Well, if you, I don't know if you're friends of us on Facebook or no, or you know about the... Um, current exp group if you're a member of the group you've got a request to join because it's a private group Sorry, but yeah. hello charlie um but yeah if, if, if it's in cornwall and it's not too far away from our area because we, we cover probably a 20 to 30 mile radius roughly in all directions from pool which is in between Camborne and red roof um yeah if you've got a derelict house um we would like to hear you know, because it's because uh, we do struggle at times. I must admit, you know, uh, a lot of other YouTubers, YouTubers do as well. YouTubers, <laughs> a lot of other YouTubers do as well. But um, we've got a few on Google Maps listed, but um, it's the case. You know, some of them are like 25, 30 miles away from home. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Matthew. That's great. Thank you, mate. Um, so sometimes you've got to, like, you've got to get two or three things in an area because then that justifies you going there, if you know what I mean. But if it's a, a super-duper explorer, you don't, you don't mind. It's like um, over at Penn Hill. I don't mind putting the effort into that because we know it's a guaranteed entry because uh you know we've done it before we know what to expect and i went over there today and flew the drone over and i know it's all good for the day that when we do it if you know what i mean right now now then yeah um we need to make sure we get this right because i don't want to cock it up you what charlie Right, so these are the top. Um, 
вот, смотрю, как сливает она. sort of look right but I'm not sure not sure on that one um, yeah right we need to look at the aircraft ah right okay okay so we are right here folks Oh, right. Okie dokie. Picking a pokey. Right. Um, that does look quite fiddly. Right, so we're going to have to glue that one in first, I think, and then fit this one in. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, yeah, we got it now. Right, you can see what we're doing, folks. The ailerons. Yes, Mark Urbex, it, it is a bit fiddly, this bit. But it looks like we can do it, so we'll be all right. We'll be all good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first bit going in will be this little piece here, which goes in there. So we'll... Uh, nice bit of glue, folks. There we are. Okay, so... Good evening, two-wheel exploration. How are you doing? Right, so let's get this in. There we are. Just like that. Yeah. And then we'll go for the next bit. We'll just go, go straight in with it, folks. No messing. Straight in there. Here we go. Right, okay. Hopefully this goes in good, folks. Oh, yes, results. Bloody hell. There we are, folks. That was extremely fiddly. Um, obviously, this piece here went in first, the aileron, which is now glued. And then this bit here. And as you might, you, I don't know if you heard that clicker now, but there was a little click, that little piece there. I don't know if you can see it. It went click. So that is now in. So I'm quite pleased about that. And it looks good too, doesn't it, eh? Bloody hell. Right, so we're on a roll now, folks. Okay, so now that the, you're f a few of you are in there now, we can talk a little bit. Um, as you may know, I've slowed down a bit. Um, it was getting awkward to find the locations, even though I've got a few locations on Google Maps. 
Um, the thing is with Google Maps, um, it, it's not updated very often, folks. And sometimes a property looks derelict on Google Maps. But when you get to the location, like I did the other day near St. Agnes, the house is not derelict. Good evening, Adrian. Two of them, two locate. Well, one of them might be derelict, but it's you've got to go through a working farm to get to this location, folks. And I'm not doing that during the day, if you know what I mean. And the thing is, with farms, usually they've got dogs, and I love dogs. Don't get me wrong, but some of these farm dogs are buggers, if you know what I mean. I used to live on a farm years ago. I know exactly what they were. They sort of dogs are like. Um, I don't want to get bit, folks. Basically, so the place that we discovered recently, I'm going to leave that for a while yet um, because I don't feel confident enough going through this farm. I've seen the dogs there. There, I flew the drone over recently. And you can see them running about and they look vicious buggers. So <laughs> we're gonna leave that. Um the basically the farm is up the top, and then you follow the lane down, and it comes to this bungalow, which is in the middle of nowhere. There's no other roads to it. Um, it looks fairly um well kempt, but you can see that there's signs that no one lives there, basically. So that's for the back burner. Um, so later this week, me, Adam and Darren are going back to Penhale Camp. I'm not saying when we're doing that because um, we we got to keep that quiet for now, folks. It's all right after the time, but when we're doing it, we can't we can't let you know, basically, not just yet, because um because of other YouTubers, they've had lots of shit when they've said what they're doing, when they're doing it. And we don't want that, folks, you know. So we got to keep that quiet to when we're doing that. Adam and Darren knows when we're doing it. Um, and we need to keep it that way, basically. I did go over there today. I didn't go in the, the actual camp, but I flew the drone over the top. That video will be stitched into the video that we do our land-based explore. Adam is going to have that footage as well. So you'll see it on his video, my footage with the drone, because I like to share. Um, so, you know, it'll, it'll make his video good as well. Um, urban exploration. We've Yes, we've got a few things lined up, but that's going to be next week or the week after. Um we're going to be doing two, maybe three videos a week, but it's possibly two, um, starting from next week, that is. Um, but I have got a little bit of a backlog. I've got um, two videos that I've not released from our paranormal investigation at Madrim Workhouse with Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. I will try my best to get that up maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, we have a lot of other potential explorers, folks, but they're in different parts of Cornwall, and we need to, I need to basically make sure that when I go to these spots, if, the, if that's a fail, then we've got something else lined up in that area as well, because obviously, you know, it, it's a little bit of money, um, with the petrol situation, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the petrol is, I couldn't believe it the other day. I had two jerry cans, which are what basically just over a gallon each, and it cost £10 each to fill them up. I couldn't believe it. But don't worry, folks, I'm not asking for donations or anything like that, so don't don't panic. But um, the cost of living now is just, uh, it's getting awkward, isn't it, folks? You know, I dare say you all have noticed it. Um. So, uh, back to the model kits. Now, me and my son, as you might have noticed, we went to Truro on Monday and we bought a few kits. I bought two, an American, basically these here, Mustangs. So I got two of those. I got the British type one as well, which we're going to be building at a later date. 
and we bought some other paints which are i think it's those two is it was it those two yeah there you go so we bought the red my boys hijacked that one already and we bought uh, a nice off yellow which is good and we bought some thinners which is really good so yeah i hope you guys don't think i'm being rude by you know not giving out what we're doing well I, you know what we're doing but i'm not telling you when we're doing it basically hope you understand it's like uh you know um there's quite a there's there's loads of us on youtube and uh it's dog eat dog world out there unfortunately but uh i'm sure you understand folks right so let's get this on let's get back to the action again right so we should be able to get this on there that'll be good wouldn't it Yeah, B, you just got to him, you know, you know, it's like um, Andrew Ward, he runs Proving Demons. Uh, he had his car set on fire. That's like, you know, God, I just don't understand why people would do that to him. If you don't like, if you're not into ghosts and whatever, then don't watch it, innit? You know, don't go and destroy his car. God's sake. And of course, Kaylee Colston was there breaking her heart, and she's she's one of our Facebook friends, folks. We're friends with Kaylee Colston on Facebook, and there's no way I'd do anything like that to anybody that's trying to, you know, give keep everybody happy, basically. Because Andrew's a nice bloke; he really is. You know, I don't know, I just don't understand it. Why would you do that? Crazy. Yeah, Mark Urbex, yeah. You've probably heard of Proving Demons, I should imagine. Um, Andrew, he's a nice bloke. You know, why would you do that to him? There's people I don't like, but I wouldn't go out and go and trash their vehicle. You know what I mean? It's like, no. And he travels a lot as well, doesn't he? Okay, that went quite easy. Bloody hell, that's looking really good. It is, mate. It is out of order, yeah. You know, he's basically entertaining everybody. And yet, people have just gone out of the way to do that. It's just crazy. I just I don't understand it. That there shiny thing you see in the corner here, that's the Bob Love. And we're just uh, charging it up, folks, basically. It's a uh, body camera. There's a lot, a lot of YouTubers use them now. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you've all had a good day. We're just waiting for this to dry a little bit. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put the engine hangers on. And uh, I'm actually having a beer at the moment, folks. I do enjoy a nice beer now and again. I'm just having a uh, a Carlsberg. I don't drink a lot, but I do like a drink on the odd occasion. So, right. Now, I think we might be all right to get those engine hangers on. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Um, no, we've got a... Right, put the aircraft over there a minute. Now, now. Um, you mean to, to me or to um, Proven Demons? Um, yeah, we do have a PayPal. Uh, bugger. Um, to 
Right, I'm going to try and put it in. Yeah, we've got a PayPal B. Um, I'll do my best to get it on there. I don't know if I can or no, but we can try. Uh, right, he's live there. folks basically all, all we ask on some of the videos is like a small donation even just a cost of a cup of coffee basically uh, you don't don't feel obliged um, right so let's have a look here Right, so that's one bit out there, and the next. Yeah, that's a good idea, B. Um, this bit's all new to me. <laughs> uh, might have to turn that volume down a bit. Right. Come on, phone. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, in the, in the next live stream, we'll add it in. Um, it's it's too much to do right now, <laughs> and I'm not used to it. Silly me. Right, hang on. Right, leave that there. Got that phone there. Right, okay. So let's get the burring off here. There we are. Right, no. No, then, no, then. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's read the instructions right here, folks, because I don't really want to make a foo par. What is that? 37, 35, 36, 30. Ah, there we go. I'm not sure when uh, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall is going to be live again. Possibly. Friday or Saturday. Mark's still having trouble with Drama Llama, which is not ideal, is it, folks? You'll have to go and check out um, the MD channel. That's uh, quite interesting. Right, okay, so, yeah, um, earlier on today we found a, because we, obviously we was in the area of um, the Triamble branch, which is a, a, um, a derelict railway line, which was freight only, which went from Shepherds all the way to Triamble Mine, and we did a, we had a little look around there as well today. And uh, never, never been there before. Never been in that vicinity, like as close as I did earlier. So that video will be coming up. I might release that before, before too long. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Are they meant to be on there? No, I don't think they are. So I think we're going to be heading back to the famous Crowley Cottage before too long. Because I know, I've well, I've got an idea that quite a few other YouTubers are going to be down that way. Right, there we go. Okay, so we're now one step ahead. Uh, this is a little bit boring, folks. Um, you know, please don't feel that you've got to stay with us. Right, okay, okie dokie. Picking a poke. Yeah. Like it. 
Right, so which one goes where? No idea. Right, so that's obviously your left and your right, and then you've got this bit here. Oh, we're missing a piece. What the hell? What are we missing? Um, don't know. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. We'll just try and best to get this together, shall we? Um, right. So it looks like that bit there. It's possibly that one there. Right. Okay. Does that meant to go like that? I'm assuming it does. God, this is fiddly, folks. Hello, Craig. You're right, mate. Right, I'm assuming I've got that right. Um, it certainly does look like it. Right, okay, yeah, I've got it right. So we can glue that straight in. There we go. Straight in. Oh, flip neck is awkward. There we go. That's that one done for a minute. What is next? Uh, da, da. Oh, right. Okay, I've got the gist now. Right, okay. It's fairly straightforward here, folks, actually, thinking about it. Um, so basically, that has got to go in there like that, is it? But where does... Oh, right, okay. So that goes something like... God, bloody hell, this is fiddly. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, okay. I think we've got the gist a bit there now. So just make sure that I don't make a cock up. Um, right, so that goes in there like that, is it? Um, wait a minute. Goes like that, does it? Adam's back! You haven't missed a lot, mate, so don't don't worry. Uh, right, okay. Ah, uh, bugger. What the fuck? Uh, have I got this right or no? Why are you making a complete tit of it? Uh, right. That's obviously it. Let's just check. Yeah, they can be, can't they, mate? Love them to bits, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Am I making a cock up here or no? I don't know. I hope I'm not making a cock up. These instructions, folks, are absolute pain in the, you know what? Ah, wait a minute. Does that go in like that? I'm assuming that goes in like that. And then that goes... Ah, there you go. Adam? Oh, I've made a cock up. Even oh, bloody hell, this is bloody awkward. Part of my French folks. Nothing to do with you, Charlie. Thank you, please. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Are you trying to be cheeky, boy? Oh, 
Yeah. Uh, ah, right. Um, do you know, I think I might have copped up with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Is it too late to get that off? No. You buffoon. What? You buffoon. How dare you? Right, there we are. Is That's it, better. Is it a kit with older tooling? No, it's not. No. That's what Craig said. Ah. Is it a new one? New tooling? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Fairly new. Okay, yeah. I've, I've just erected my... What? What? <coughs> no. Um, what did you say? I've just um, fixed my cock up. So that's... B, B said, I have a year nine as well. Oh, do you, B? Ah. Yeah, that's what Charlie is. Isn't it, boyo? Right, okay. So I think we're back back in the room. You're back in the room, back in the room. Don't look, in, don't look around the face. Look into the face, into the face. <laughs> Oh, just talking at me ass again. Mm. Pardon? Pardon? Mm. Cheeky boy. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Kids. Love my folks. Gotta love them. Right, now then, this is proven to be extremely fiddly, folks. Extremely. Right, okay. I'm hoping that I haven't made a cock up. Hope. Right, so it goes. That way, didn't it? Is it that way? No, it's that way. So, yeah, that does look right, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got an attempt now to assemble the other side. But I'm just missing a shock there. So, where would that be? It's obviously not on there. Let's have a look on here. Not in there, so it's probably on another sprue. Let's have a look. We need the shock now. So we've got a gun there, so we don't need that right away. Um, where would it be? So it's not it's not jumping out at me on that one, folks. Uh, right, okay. So, we're missing... Ah, right, okay, we found it. There we go. That's one. Charlie? Adam says hi. Charlie said hello. He's building his um, his NHS fighter he bought the other day. Right. This is fiddly, folks. God. God, is this fiddly. Right, let's get these little bits off. Right, okay, so we've got our shocks. That's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> right. I think... Yeah, that's got to be like that, isn't it? Okay, so that goes... Oh, is it? Oh, sorry. I don't know. Right, uh, so 
that. So I think I'm going to have to glue that in there and then there and then turn it so it goes kind of there, isn't it? Bloody hell, why do they make things so damn awkward? God. All right, okay. A little bit of glue there. Let's study this a minute. All right, okay. We'll be all right. Okay, so that's in there. So then we're going to put it there and then put a bit there. So tweezers, where are you? Oh, we've only got one in now. Oh, dear. Right, I know that's a bit of a foo pa, but hey ho. Actually, let's just bend that up a bit. There we go, we got it pretty much. Oh, we got it now. There we go, we're done. Thank God for that. Oh, right, okay, so we've got one done, folks. Now we can move on to the next one. Thank God for that. That was painful. That was really painful. <clears throat> right. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is basically get this done and then we'll call it a night, folks, because um, that, that was extremely fiddly. Flipping heck. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, first bit in, so we'll uh, get that in there. And yeah. Right, so, okay, let's go for it. A little bit there and there. Right, there we go. So the next bit I'll do is the shock, because that's shocking. <laughs> uh, yeah, it says to do that next as well. So, yeah, we'll do that. So a little bit of glue just there and a little bit of glue just there. Right, okay. And that goes that way. And that goes straight onto there like that. Which does look extremely fiddly. There we go. Adam, yeah, he's doing the NHS one. And Mr. Louis come and say hello to everybody. Hello, Louie. Don't breathe in the cat. The oh, bleed now. <laughs> Come on. Go on Daddy's lap. Go on Daddy's lap. <laughs> oh, God. Go on. Come on. As you get glued. <laughs> oh, flipping out. I'm going to kick the cat out. Lou. <coughs> Come on, mate. Come back in a bit, all right? Right, sorry about that. The cat um, decided that he wanted to come in to say hello. All right. Okay, we've got that in. Just a dab of glue on there. Just like that. Right, okay, there we go. We, we're pretty much done with those now. So now, what we can do is just offer them up. 
I forgot which one goes where actually. Not at the minute, Charlie. Oh, good. <clears throat> right. Okay. So that's the wheel assembly there. We're we're on a roll again now, folks. That was fiddly, I must say. So we'll just get this into position. And then we'll call it. So I won in a second. I just just got to get this done. Right, there we are, folks. That's one on. And the next one. It's the things that, that like this, folks, that take the time. It's you've got to have the patient, the patience of a saint, really, um, to do this sort of stuff. You know, I've been doing model kits on and off for donkey's years. So, right, last one, and we are. We're in. There we go. Well, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed our live stream. Thank you to everybody that came on. Um, we will. We've got a little bit of a battle. We haven't actually got that done tonight, have we? <clears throat> but we'll leave that for um, our next live stream. It will probably be at the weekend. Barry Little, Mod Squad. Hello. We're just about finishing up there, mate. <laughs> It's always like it, isn't it? So, just to go through what we've done tonight um, with the model JU88, we fitted the rudders. Rudders? No, ailerons. And we've constructed the landing gear, which was not easy. And, uh, yeah, so it's it's gone very well. I thought that was going to be a nightmare, to be honest. So we'll just have a little drop of beer a minute. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, the model is coming on very nicely indeed. I know it seems like it's taking forever more, but... Um... Oh, Haley's there. Hello. Hello, Haley. You all right? Um, yeah, so just, just, just to go through what we've done tonight, we've put the ailerons on, which are these bits here. They weren't on. And we've constructed the undercarriage basically so um what do you want now charlie all right hang on folks charlie wants to show his model come on then oh yeah i was missing a whole sprue though bloody hell but you see these two little edges jeffy let's show, let's show the folks i was missing a whole sprue that was supposed to go with them so if you watch the video the other day when we was in Tro, this is what he's done already, look. Flipping heck. I painted the man, so I don't have to do that later. Yeah. That's really good. You got better, mate. And he got better, folks. And that's that's missing a sprue. A whole sprue's been missing. But so this one is the special NHS one, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah. So you got to put the other undercarriage on there. NHS space. That's right, isn't it? Not bad for a little boy. <laughs> well, I'm missing a sprue because you see these two. There's Ooh, supposed to be a sprue yeah. that makes these look better, but the sprue is missing. Hello, Chris. You're right, mate. Everybody's joining in now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so now we've got a few of you in there. Um, we're planning to go back to Penhill Army Camp. This is happening later this week. I can't tell you exactly when because. Um, Security reasons, basically, folks. Um, I've, I've been over that area today to fly the drone over, and I've got a brilliant video, which is going to be part of the main video that we do very soon. So I hope you guys will look out for that. I have got um, some other videos besides that to release. Um, Madrum Workhouse, when I was with Mark and Haley at, um, with Ghost Adventures of the Cornwall, I've got two more videos of that to release. I'm going to try my best to release that tonight. If not, it will be up uh, tomorrow. 
Yeah, okay, Hayley. Um, I can't say on here right now because you know the situation. We don't want we don't want trolls and stuff like that. So yeah. Sure, I'm not gonna build this. Too. So um Charlie's next aircraft is that one, folks? Hurricane. Hurricane. So that'll be quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah, that rebel glue is a treat. Yeah. It's good. Like it. Right, um, I'm going to head off. I'll message you now, Hayley. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to tag along or if Mark, you and Mark want to come along, um, but we'll let you know when we're doing that. You can prob. yeah, well, I'm not going to say much more on that. Anyway, thank you to everybody that's joined. Um, now I'm going to head off. I know, I know everybody's jumping on now, but I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> not with you guys no no just uh, I, I, as you may know i've not been sleeping very well of late i've had to buy these calms tablets and i've had two already and they work so um yeah so we're going to continue doing that i think what it was folks it was a combination of having too much coffee and um not eating correctly and uh not eating at the right times. What I mean is eating, shall we say, um, before I go to bed. And I, you just don't do that, do you? Uh, I've just adjusted all of that and it's paying off. So, you know, it's good, it's good, isn't it? So we're getting back to a bit more normality. Thank God for that. Right. Well, I'm going to head off. You will see some more videos from us. Um, I've, I've got one or two to release either... Tonight, it probably won't be tonight, to be honest. It'll probably be tomorrow. Um, we've got the um, Madrim Workhouse, two of them to go. And I think we can release one other besides that. Anyway, um, see you soon, folks. We'll definitely have some videos by Saturday. All right? Anyway, cheers and gone. Night, folks.